Let's write a C program using macros. So here is our problem statement. Write macro definitions with arguments for calculation of simple interest and amount. Store these macro definitions in a file called interest.h. Include this file in your program and use the macro definitions for calculating simple interest and amount. So it's very easy. We have already done this, but without using macros. So let's see the uh, formula for calculating simple interest. So principal amount into time into rate of interest divided by 100 gives simple interest. So total amount is simple interest accumulated plus the capital or the principal amount would give us total amount. So using this exact formula, let's write our C program. I'll take a couple of floating point variables. I'll ask the user to enter principal amount and store it inside the address of floating point variable P percentage F because it's floating point variable. So now let me copy these two lines of code and paste it two more times here to get values for rate of interest and time period. So let's ask the user to enter rate of interest. Interest T R S T R. Now the time period, it's also called as maturity period. So I'll store that inside address of variable T. Now let me directly output the result onto the console window. So I'll write simple interest colon percentage F because the result may also be a floating point digit value. So the macro name is SI which we need to define it and we need to pass the user entered value for principal amount, rate of interest and time period. Let us also display the total amount percentage F slash N. So I'll call it AMT, the macro name, and pass the values of P, T, and R. So that completes the code inside main.c. Let me create another file and add it to the current active project. And let me call it interest.h. .h because it's a header file wherein we define our macros. So ash define. So let me define SI that is simple interest. It's macros macros with arguments. So let me write macro expansion here. So let me remove this principal amount into time period into rate of interest divided by 100.0. Point o because p, t, r are all floating point variables, dividing it by integer might get wrong results for certain inputs. So let me define AMT now. So define AMT and the formula is the accumulated simple interest plus the capital amount or the principal amount. So let me get simple interest by passing PTR to the macros macro si plus add the principal amount to it this plus this would give the total amount accumulated so now let me include interest.h file in our source file if we include a file name inside double quote the program would look for this file inside the current active working directory okay let me run this for you i'll give hundred dollars 14 as the rate of interest and time period two years maybe. So simple interest is 280 and the amount is principal amount 1000 plus simple interest. So it's 1280. So I think I forgot to include a new line character here, which I'll do now. So that's it. So this is how we make use of macros to calculate simple interest and the total amount. So please visit the link present in the description section of this YouTube video for source code notes and discussion about this topic. Stay subscribed to our YouTube channel and blog and please share this video with your friends on WhatsApp, Telegram, LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, etc. And please do not forget to like this video on YouTube. Thank you.